the silent release of MVAV is actually making a strong rumble on the guitar community. Can a $30 pedal beat a 500 one? Let's take a look! The MVAV Mini Universe is one of the three silent releases from MVAV in 2023. Together with the Tank G, the evolution of the MVAV Cube Baby, they have once again created a great buzz on the budget guitar rig community. And always by the same reason. How can they achieve so impressive quality in such low cost? For sure, if we consider the price range of which the Mini Universe is placed, it is not that difficult to beat the cost-benefit ratio expectation but I can honestly anticipate that this pedal has much higher pros than you would expect. But, of course, carry huge cons that we simply cannot understand why. Let's talk a little bit about the pedal itself. The Mini Universe is a digital mod reverb machine that carries in it nine different algorithms. Room, Hall, Blade, Spring, Shimmer, Cloud, Bloom, Swell, and Lo-Fi. By the names, you can imagine which type of universe the pedal was trying to emulate. We need to admit that it's a pretty competent piece of gear in terms of sound algorithm. The pedal has also a really competent control interface, displaying three superior knobs for the basic functions, depth, mix, and the reverb type selection, and also three inferior knobs that are the specific parameters for each type of reverb chosen. On the back of the pedal, you'll find the list of the parameters according to each type of reverb. Honestly, this is a pretty stupid place to have it, because this is where the majority of the people place their loops to attach the pedal on the boards. And even though, no one would like to be turning the pedal upside down to check the table parameters. Eh? There's also a mini USB plug on top, on which the producer claims to be useful for future firmware updates, and also it can be used as a basic audio interface. Unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to try it. In terms of build quality, it's a robust metal casing, pretty small when compared to other multiverb pedals, and in my opinion, the only visually attractive pedal on the triad of releases of 2023 from MVAV. Unfortunately, it's not only a bed of roses. There are simple design mistakes that make the pedal become from simply annoying, if you're a basic user, to impossible to handle it, if you're a professional player. Let's start with the most basic things. There are simple misspelling mistakes on the knobs. Description like Blom, missing an O, and Swell, missing an L. Worse than that, it's the quality of the knobs and switches. The plastic knobs make the pedal super fragile, and the reverb selection knob has a big selection uncertainty, in a way that sometimes you can have more than one function skip it, and sometimes no function skip it, even when you rotate the knob. The foot switch is extreme opposite to a soft one. It feels and sounds like you're breaking a rock when you step on it. But you know what makes the sound of the foot switch look silent? The sound it makes when you turn it on. When you step on it, it simply... This is the deal breaker of the pedal. If you need to engage it when playing, it makes it simply impossible to use it. Of course, there are some workarounds, like placing it inside the loop of a controller, or simply muting the signal chain before engaging the pedal. Wow, sounds like this is the worst pedal you could buy, correct? But wait a second before coming to conclusions. Let's take a look at some sound samples made with it.
Now let's take a look on how some parameters influence on the pedal sound. How much would you pay for this sound? I guess much more than it costs. Currently the Mini Universe is costing around $25. Fair enough price to pair it with a Mosque loop box and solve the problem of the foot switch engagement. Amazing solution, yeah? In a general way, the Mini Universe is for sure the best modulated reverb from the budget market. Repeating the same phenomena as the Cube Baby, the quality of the Mini Universe is able to call the attention of even the professional players. For sure there are huge flaws of design, but those flaws are justified inside this price range. It's important also to highlight that those issues were identified on this specific pedal I have bought, and from what I have also researched, all the items on the first patch seem to have the same issues. It doesn't mean that the MVAV cannot correct those issues for the next batches. The verb tones are simply gorgeous, and have the longest trails you'll find on a pedal from this price range. It's perfect for those who play ambient guitars, worship, or more modern sounds. For sure, if you're looking for a basic reverb, this is not a pedal for you. Even the hall, room, spring, and plate functions are highly modulated, which can be a little bit overwhelming for those who expect a short ambience. That's all for today, my Tone Chaser friends. I hope you enjoyed this pedal review, and if it was helpful to you, please consider to hit the like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notifications. I'll catch you on the next one. Keep on rocking!